Oh, uh, hey. I hope the funeral goes well today. Well, it'd be better if Toya wasn't coming. Oh, come on, don't say that. Well, I wanted to think the best of her. But the way she's behaved, the hiding, she looks guilty to me. She's already been charged with death by careless driving. Yeah, except now I think Adam's right. There's more to it. Now, listen, don't, don't let Adam get into your head, OK? Hello? Speaking. Yes, yeah, I can, OK. Yeah, I can come down now, yeah. Fine, OK, bye. see why I'm here. Well, as I said on the phone, we just want to ask you a few questions about your relationship with Toya. Why? We broke up four years ago. We barely have any contact. Nevertheless. And I thought she'd already been charged. We've had some new information. Oh, new information. What's that code for? Oh, all right, OK, you're not going to tell me. What have you been doing, bugging a flat or something? You've been picking up random snippets of conversation, have you? And, and turning it into something completely untrue. Actually, your nephew, Adam Barlow, has informed us that Toya said she wanted to kill her husband. <laughs> Sorry, that's... It's ridiculous. And he insists she meant it. Look, Adam was very close to him, right? He's grieving and he's angry. Maybe, but we have to take his allegation seriously. Toya's not a murderer. Do you know you lot? You focus in on the wrong people. There are real murderers out there, you know, hiding behind smooth personas, big cars, flash jobs. But you don't question them, do you? Because they probably play golf with your chief constable or whoever your top lot is. I'm sorry if that's your perception of the police, Mr. Ballow, but I assure you that is not the case here. I'm simply trying to understand more about the mindset of Mrs. Habib. I just told you, we barely have any contact. As far as I'm aware, her and Imran were very happy. Perhaps you could tell me about baby Susie. You've got to understand how desperate Toya was to have a baby. We tried for so long. Round after round of IVF failed, and then we eventually found a surrogate. And then just as things were looking hopeful, she miscarried. Toya was... she was devastated. So when Eva Price offered her baby Susie, what did Toya do? Well, you obviously know the answer to that question. Yeah, but I'd like you to answer it. She agreed to take her. Did she tell you this? No. She told me Susie belonged to the surrogate. She lied to you. When you found out the truth, how did you react? How? Uh, yeah. I was angry and upset. And what did you do? I just ended the relationship. But in hindsight, I do understand why she did it. What? Even with the benefit of hindsight, you must still acknowledge that what she did was extreme. Toya was... she was a mess back then. She, she's not the same person. Yet she still clearly harbours a desperate desire to be a mother. You know, she's, she's fostered three children and then was happy to bring up her husband's child, a child he'd had with another woman as the result of infidelity. What does that tell you about her? It tells me she's very forgiving. Oh, forgiving her still. As you said yourself, desperate to have a baby. Any baby she could nurture as her own, at whatever cost. Where are you going with this? As I said, I'm just simply trying to understand the mindset of Mrs Habib. Look, I, I understand that Toya acted wrongly where Susie was concerned, but I, I don't really see how this is relevant now. I, I'm sorry I don't. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Barlow. That'll be all. What are you doing here? I've come to pay my respects to the widow, which is more than you've done. So the police called you? Yes, they did. Good. 
You shouldn't have involved me in this. Sorry, uh, Toya, can we have a word? Well, we're just about to leave for the bistro. It, it won't take long. Yeah, um, Leah, I'll, I'll meet you there. It's fine. Yeah, OK. Shall we sit? But why did they call you in for questioning? I've already been charged. Adam told them you said you wanted to kill him, Ran. He said what? Twice, and that you meant it. Yeah, I probably said, like, oh, I could kill him, Ran. Like, the, the way that everybody does, it's a figure of speech. I know, but he said you meant it like a threat. So he's suggesting that I tried to murder my husband by driving both of us into a wall? He's just angry. He's looking for somebody to blame. Why did they call you? I don't understand. They wanted to ask me about Susie. Oh. Where's Toya? Was she not here? She was with you. Well, we had a chat and she left, then I had to pick up her face. So I, for some reason, I assumed she'd be here before me. Oh, what were you talking about? Police called me in this morning. They wanted to ask about Susie. Why? They're still looking into the accident. They want to understand her state of mind, so I just thought it'd be better if she knew. I can't get hold of her. Look, I wasn't trying to scare her. I just thought she needed to know. I just don't understand why the police are talking about Susie anyway. Why are they dragging all that up? Because Adam told them that Toya said she wanted to kill Imran and that they should talk to me about Susie. OK, OK. Take some deep breaths, yeah? And the police are here. Just stay calm. Oi! What the hell's wrong with you? I'm grieving for my best mate, which is more than could be said for his widow. Yeah, well, if she's not here, it's all your fault. I know you went to the police. Look, I did what I had to do. She's already been done for careless driving. Well, I think there's more to it. Oh, you do, do you? All right, so why did Imran risk his own life to pull her out of the car if she crashed it on purpose, eh? Maybe he didn't realise what he was doing. <laughs> You're talking rubbish. She said it to your face, Leanne. If he's been lying to me again, I'm going to kill him. Oh, come I was there, on. I heard she it. didn't mean it. How'd you know that? Because I know my sister, that's why. Yeah, I bet all siblings of all killers say that. Whoa! 